incredible video from London showing the dramatic moment when a roof collapses. You can see people walking by just seconds before that roof comes down, leaving a pile of rubble on the sidewalk. Officials say high winds brought the roof down. None of the debris hit anyone. As we get more world news from Fox 5 News anchor Lisa Ram. We begin tonight with the beginnings of a concrete wall that is going up between Turkey and Syria. It's going to be 51 miles long and 13 feet high. The wall will stretch along two provinces in Turkey and along the ISIS-controlled Jabarlis and Azaz provinces in Syria. The two countries share a 565-mile-long border. The hunt for several suspects wanted in connection with the Paris terror attacks is far from over. The Geneva police conducted a massive search after Swiss federal authorities alerted them that the men could be in Geneva or the Geneva region. A photograph circulating of the suspect shows four bearded men. Tonight, diplomats say they are nearing a conclusive climate deal. That's the latest word from France's COP summit. Negotiators say they've narrowed down all their options to a 29-page draft of a global accord to tackle climate change. Finally, tonight, a taxi driver in Toronto took his frustrations out on an Uber driver. Banging on the window, he grabbed onto the car's door, and you saw just what happened as the, the Uber driver tried to drive off. After being dragged a bit, the taxi driver finally let go and is okay tonight. Cabbies are protesting the personal car service, saying it undermines city laws and puts a dent into their livelihoods. Meteorologist David Chanley still monitoring those temperatures that are out there, and they're going to be very warm overnight. I got to move all that much. We're in the 50s now. We're going to be in the 50s right on through the wee hours of your Friday morning. As you start your Friday, watch out for some patchy fog in some areas and some drizzle. Temperatures will quickly rise, though, even with limited sunshine right on into lunchtime, mid to upper 60s, even some low 70s down on the south side. And by afternoon, we'll be hitting 70 here in Atlanta, and that's just the beginning as we get on into the weekend. So here's your final forecast for the evening. We got that patchy fog out there and clouds morning. It's 57, 67 by lunch. Late in the afternoon, temperature there in the low 70s in some areas down south of the city. And we expect it to be even warmer as we get into the weekend. Joe and Feldman have those numbers for you on Good Day Atlanta. All right, David, thanks. This scene started out as a suspicious package investigation. But that's far from what actually caused a bus driver to stop in the middle of a busy intersection. That's next. And then... It was a weird truck that pulled up and he got out with a package. A major misunderstanding leads several people to call the sheriff on a UPS driver. And Fox 5 would like to invite you to participate in the great toy drop to benefit Toys for Tots. It's this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Publix at Highland Plaza on Sandy Plains Road in Marietta. The Fox 5 family will be there ready to take pictures and sign autographs. Please bring an unwrapped toy to donate to the Toys for Tots campaign. The man had just arrived in the United States from Israel on a student visa and was on his way home to his family. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker says somebody tampered with a control panel, and that's why a train left the suburban Boston station this morning without a driver. Officials say the operator left the train when it wouldn't start and tried to perform a bypass, and that's when they say the train took off with 50 passengers on board. Operators eventually disabled the train and brought it to a stop. The incident remains under investigation tonight. The boys in brown are as common during the holidays as the decorations on your front door. But when the UPS man showed up to a Kentucky home, something was different. The worker was in a U-Haul truck. Calls started coming into 911. Worried residents thought it was somebody casing out houses to steal packages. But UPS says during the holiday season, it's quite common for the company to use U-Haul trucks to handle the extra packages and the deliveries that are needed. The nature of the concern was that someone posing as a UPS driver uh, could come to their home uh, if no one's there, break in the home. Uh, but that has definitely not been the case here. UPS says concerned customers or neighbors should look for signs to verify that the driver is legit like an ID badge, handheld computer, and that proper brown UPS uniform. All right, sports is coming up next. Here's Cody. Yeah, and we've got some breaking news regarding Georgia's defensive coordinator. Could he be wearing maybe a crimson uniform next year? We'll have the details next.
It is breaking news. BamaOnline.com reporting that Georgia defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt will be the new defensive coordinator at Alabama. The opening there, of course, because Kirby Smart, who was at Bama, has taken over at Georgia. So a bit of a switch there. Pruitt was on the Alabama coaching staff from 2007 through 2012. Today, all four coaches that will be leading their teams into the college football playoff met up right here in Atlanta. Bob Stoops, Dabo Sweeney, Nick Saban, Mark D'Antonio, all part of a press conference at the College Football Hall of Fame. Now, earlier in the day, Clemson coach Dabo Sweeney named the National Coach of the Year. Sweeney has the Tigers undefeated, ranked number one in the nation. Now, they've won national titles there before, but it's been a while since they were mentioned with the Alabamas and Oklahomas of the world, and that's what prompted this Dabo Classic. You know, I, 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 yeah, I, I, that's what I said this morning on the radio show. I said, you know, we're kind of that, that redneck that moved into the nice neighborhood, and everybody's going, where'd you come from? And that's kind of the way it's been for us. Uh, but, you know, there's no question Clemson belongs. I mean, we, we've, we've uh, been as consistent as anybody out there in the country. And then you got to be able to step out of your conference and, and, and win big time games. The college football award show followed the press conference. The big three this week, they're Alabama running back Derrick Henry, Clemson's Deshaun Watson, and Stanford running back Christian McCaffrey. All were part of the award ceremony tonight, and all will be in New York this weekend for the Heisman Trophy ceremony. It's a lot of dressing up for guys that are much more comfortable in just shoulder pads. How many of these outfits did you have to pack up before you <laughs> I got uh, I got three, two, two main ones and then a secondary one just in case. So we ended up getting three. Is this you picking this out? Mom, sister, who's out? This was my mom with the help of uh, Alan George, our, our PR guy. And so, uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not good with style. And so I just kind of say, you know what? Make me look good. Make me look the best I can. And so this is what they got. Happy with it, though. I feel, I feel good. Some things never change. I think my mom may have picked this out. Hawks and OKC tonight for game two of a road back-to-back. -back. Coach Bud's boys trying to make it three wins in a row, but the Thunder with the third best record in the Western Conference. Hawks were hanging with them in the second half. Al Horford hitting the three here, but Al only with nine points tonight. The Thunder would start pulling away later in that third quarter. It's former Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket Anthony Morrow with a three here, and then finally it'd be Kevin Durant with two more. He had a triple-double, and the Thunder win at 107.94. We made a great run in the third quarter. I think got it to one, um, you know, but I think just didn't have enough to, to get over the top or, you know, they got a little separation at the end of the third quarter and they just kind of were able to maintain it. The High Five State Football Championship start tomorrow. It's a two-day event down at the Georgian Home. So one final time to get in your face, at least football-wise, this season. It's going to be a huge weekend ahead at the Dome. It's great. you got seven games uh, over two days. It's great football to watch. Get down there and watch it. A lot of excitement. All right, Cody, thanks. And thank you for joining us tonight on Fox 5 News Edge. TMZ is coming up next. And stay connected to Fox 5 Around the Clock. Check me out on social media on Facebook and Twitter at Tom Haynes Fox 5. The great toy drop coming up this Saturday. You're going to be there to say hi to all the Fox 5 News personalities? I hope so. The information is on my Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page at Tom Haynes Fox 5. Hope to see you there. Bring a new unwrapped toy for the kids at Toys for Tots. Have a great rest of your night. And tune in to Good Day Atlanta, which starts at 4.30. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.